the grip it is the simplest and easiest fundamental and also the most important fundamental in the game of golf. A good grip allows everything in the swing to happen naturally. What is a good grip? What are the elements of a good grip? Well, let's try to do as many things as natural as possible. First of all, let's let our hands hang at our sides. Now, as the left hand's hanging to, down at my side, that's where I want the club to fit, just where the left hand, the way the left hand hangs. My right hand, as it's hanging to my side naturally, I just bring it up as though I was shaking hands with somebody, and I put it on the golf club. That puts both hands on the club in a reasonably straight fashion. Whether you use an interlocking grip, an overlocking grip, or a full finger grip, I don't really think it make, makes much difference. It's a matter of personal comfort on how you connect your hands. Now, the left hand is the strength of the golf grip. It has to be the support. So the golf club passes diagonally across the palm of the left hand. If you were going to hit somebody, let's just say with the back of your hand, you wouldn't flick them with your fingers. You'd hit them with the, the strongest part of your hand, and that's the back of your left hand. And that's what I want the golf club sitting directly behind that. Now, the right hand is exactly the opposite. The right hand is the part that applies the hit. So I want to use the fingers of the right hand, right across there. Now, why do I want to use the fingers? Well, if I were going to throw a ball, I wouldn't put it in the palm of my hand. I'd put it in the fingers of my hand, so I have something to snap it. So the combination of strength and hit are the two elements of the right and left hand put together straight on the golf club to produce a good grip. The most common fault of a golfer with a bad grip is his inability to be able to get a complete release and a full extension at the golf ball at the time of impact. Well, he thinks that he needs more strength within his grip, and he tries to take his left hand and turn it left, what we call a motorcycle grip. And he tries to take his right hand underneath the grip. He feels very strong at this position, but in fact, it's a weak position because one of two things are gonna happen. One is that to keep the club face straight, he cannot release the club because he has to keep his hands forward and never really applies his power. Or two, if he does release his, his hands and the hands want to return to a normal position, the club face becomes closed, resulting in a duck hook. The other side of the coin is the grip that is too weak, resulting in an early release and a loss of power, or if the hands are kept to the golf ball, results in an open face at impact. Remember, you want to keep your hands straight on the golf club so that you can apply the club face squarely on the ball in a square position at impact. It's just as though your hands were hanging to your side, brought together, separated and closed. That's a good golf grip.